So I'm starting off today's vlog making lunch because that's where I'm at, so I figure why not. I'm gonna make my go-to lunch lately, which has been salmon bowls. We just took Theo's five month photo update. I will put them on the screen so you can see how much he's grown. I wanna cry. You're so big. I got some new stuff in the mail, so I thought I would sit down and film a mini haul for you guys. A uh, good old fashioned haul. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I'm gonna start off with jewelry because I got some new pieces that I'm very excited about. And if you know me, if you've been following me, you know that I'm a creature of habit with jewelry. And once I find pieces I really like, I, it's just like you're gonna see me in the same stuff over and over again. So every time I get some new pieces that I'm very excited about, it's I, I mean it. Uh, so I got some new stuff in from Majuri, and like I said, because I wear this stuff all the time and I just like to just stick to my classic pieces, I look for quality, I just look for easy everyday wear that's just gonna go with every outfit, and Majuri's has stuff that's just so my style. So I'm gonna tell you guys, or show you guys everything that I got, and it's also perfect timing because they're having a huge Black Friday sale that you're definitely gonna wanna know about. So I'll tell you guys that after I show you the pieces. First up, let's talk about the earrings. These are the croissant dome hoops. Absolutely love these. They're just so classic, gorgeous. I love that they have some texture so I can wear it with simple things. And they're also not heavy, which is key for me because I just don't like pulling and tugging on my ear and they're just like perfect, love them, easy to wear every day. Moving on to my necklaces, I have just a simple chain here. It's so gorgeous, perfect for layering. And then I have a coin pendant. I love pendants, I love coins, I love layering that um, on necklaces. I just think it's so pretty and it adds so much more to your outfit. And then moving on to rings, which I love rings. I have a few here. On my pointer finger, I have the croissant dome ring, which goes with my earrings. So cute, I love this style of ring. I just think it's really pretty. Moving on, we have the diamond slim signet ring, which is so gorgeous, perfect for layering on your fingers too. I love to layer rings on top of each other, and this one is a really, really good one. And then lastly, on my right ring finger, I have the heirloom ring, which I just think is so pretty. It adds color. I just think that they all look really, really nice together. And the last one I'm not currently wearing, but I definitely wanted to mention it because I think it would make a just a gorgeous really thoughtful gift uh, and it is the croissant oval locket necklace and I just think because it's a locket I just think it can be so personalized and just be a really special gift for someone to open mother mother-in-law sister and I just think it's really really thoughtful uh, and it's a really great layering piece because it's not super bulky it just would layer on really nicely for a lot of people. Now, like I mentioned before, this is perfect timing because Majuri is having one of their biggest sales for Black Friday, running from November 24th to the 29th. You can get 20% off if you spend $150 or more. Um, so I'm gonna have a link in the description box below to go check it out, and then also all of these pieces. They're all so gorgeous, such good quality, and make such great gifts. So I highly recommend, and huge thank you to Majuri for sponsoring this portion of the video. Moving on to the clothing pieces I wanted to mention, I'll stick with the holiday festive kind of theme since I was just talking about holiday sales. Uh, these two pieces are from Nordstrom and they're actually from a collection or like a collaboration with Emma Rose on Instagram. She's so cute, so, so sweet, and I loved these pieces. So first up, we are gonna talk about this because how cute 
This little like faux fur collar and sleeves is just such a fun addition. This dress. I, should, I feel like I should just leave it at that because this is so cute. It also is so incredibly flattering. Um, I have just like, I just, okay, dress, gorgeous. They have it in three colors, I think, but I got it in this gold yellow. It's just so flattering. I obviously will show you it on. It's just, I just think it's so pretty. It's gonna be great for holidays. They had a black one, which I think would be really cute with tights. Next, I got a layering piece that I'm really excited about. I wanted to get my hands on something like this. It's from Lulu's. It's just a turtleneck knit short with like a little slit dress. And I just think that this is something that is going to be super easy to layer. I find myself when I'm getting dressed, I just want something easy I can just throw on with a jacket, tights, or like knee-high boots, and this is it. Speaking of jackets, well, that's generous to call this a jacket. I'm gonna be honest. I was not expecting it to be as thin as it was, um, but it's cute, so I wanna keep it. Um, this is from Princess Polly. It's a long trench coat. Like, if you are in a colder climate, which New York is, this is not gonna keep you warm. But I think if you layer it with a sweater and it's not freezing, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, if anything, this is gonna be really great to transition into spring. So, it's kind of why I'm feeling like I wanna keep it. I also think layering with this situation, with like some knee-high boots. And then lastly, we have this really fun, cute, faux fur little fuzzy purse, which I think is so cute. I've been looking for something like this. I'm just so boring sometimes with my purses. Like I literally wear just like wear the same purse over and over again. Um, but I see this, see this print a lot and I just think it's really cute and it's like perfect for this time of year. I can just like layer it with a cute jacket. It's like trendy. That concludes my little mini haul. I hope you liked everything. Okay, so we are at brunch at Evelina, one of our fave spots. Julia's already got the baby. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. Look at that little squish. Look at that little squish. Patrick is finally not outnumbered. He now has another, well, a little outnumbered. One more. One and a half. But he's got a, he's got Theo now. Want to say hi, Patrick? Hi, Patrick. Hi, Carrie. What's up, everyone? <laughs> it's been such a long time. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> We're going to get, you gotta look at the menu, it's really good. I'm in between three things. Also, we're in a cute little outdoor hut. New York does such a good job with making the outdoor dining very pleasant when it gets chilly. It's really cute. you see mama be familiar. No, you literally never, I never hold him. I'm so upset. <clears throat> I'll make another one in uh, two to three business years. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Carrie's apartment. I gotta show you it because it's so cute. Her first solo apartment. I haven't showed Julia's yet on the vlog, but I'll get there. We have a lot of work to do. I've only been here for about a week, but so far I'm like very happy with what's already happened. No, so, it's so cute. Come on in. <laughs> Um, so this is the living room. Love it. Love it. Cozy, cute. Cozy. Um, We're still in Brooklyn, people. We're correct. very close to each other still. Walking distance, walking distance, bus distance, very nice. Right. Um, kitchen is behind you. I was going to be concerned at first about that, but <laughs> it's really Oh, nice. by the way, we're here. We're having a girls' night because it's red. Red day. It's red day. Red day. Red day. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. That's all that. This is my... Um, my office. Okay, this yeah. Slash closet. This is a two bedroom, uh, technically, but it, they're very tiny. So. But we work from home now. We so work this from is home great. 100. So, it's a game changer. So it's very cute. Nice. Here's the bathroom. So cute. I gotta we get love, the full. We love. 
Love it. And then where all the magic happens. Her favorite room. My favorite room. The bedroom. The bedroom. She did such an amazing house. job I decorating. Like that come with the apartment though, also. Like, oh. Isn't that insane? That's so cute. It's what? like not a boot. Oh! The best light fixtures I've seen in any Brooklyn no, New York apartment so, that's ever. That's so that's true, not, yeah. It came with them, and I not didn't notice boob. it. I <laughs> didn't even notice it when I was looking at it. I was here like when my dad came to paint, and I was like, these are cute. These no, they really the are. I have. So that was awesome. So yeah. I love it. She's already got all of her frames. Yeah. Yes, some might say I have a lot. Yes, I have a lot. Um, but we love it. They're, they're not even all up, so you can't oh, even no, say no, that. Oh, no, no, no. Don't show them the pile of the things that are. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Just, yeah, it's a lot. Um, I love pictures. And then the beautiful dresser. Yes. So cozy. Yes. I love it. Yay. So happy. We love the place. We're just feeling so at home. It's, it's it. Amazing. currently packing, which let me tell you, now that I have a baby, it's there's a whole new level of packing. And I'm actually like more stressed this time around because uh, normally, or the only time we've ever flown with him or gone anywhere has been home, or to Minnesota. So it's been a little bit less like pressure to like make sure you pack everything because if we're at, at my parents' house, like they have extra stuff for him, I can just run out and grab stuff. But this is actually our first like vacation style trip we're actually going to Punta Cana for my brother's wedding uh, which is so exciting and I'm so excited for him and my sister-in-law uh, but I'm a little stressed because I'm packing for completely different weather that we're living in now and also I just want to make sure I have everything for him we're gonna be gone a week and yeah so I'm like packing I'm gonna pack for myself right now first and then just get that out of the way and then I'm gonna really focus and make sure I pack everything for him. I'm so excited. This is gonna be his first time at the beach, like putting toes in the ocean type of thing, and I'm just so excited. So I know Patrick is as well. I can give you guys a little preview of my outfits that I'm bringing, and the next video you guys are gonna see after this is gonna be the vlog from this trip, so. But if you're not already following me on Instagram, do so, because I will be posting as we're there. This is the vibe. I have cute little nighttime fun dresses. Uh, this one, which I think I might wear at the wedding. I'm not 100% sure. It's not white, don't come for me. It's literally like a yellow. It just is kind of coming off more white. Um, yellowy, cream, orange, purple bunch of flowers on it it's really pretty um it's from free people so i might wear that just like cute flowy beach stuff it's so weird i have not i didn't even really have a summer this year because i just gave birth so i was inside just being a new mom all summer so i'm very excited to just get some much needed vitamin d wedding outfit my brother is going pretty cash for the attire so we're going very beachy how cute Theo is gonna hang out with us while we pack this last bit I have a lot of clothing and all of that packed I just have toiletries left but I'm gonna do that once he goes to bed so before I end the video I thought it would be really just maybe helpful or just if you guys are curious what I put in his diaper bag for flights uh, it's not really gonna change even though we have a slightly longer flight um, this is just been, what's been working for us. He's five months old, so, you know, if you have a toddler, I feel like you might need a little bit more, but for right now, this works out great. So, this is our diaper bag. It is by Bayes. Is that how you pronounce it? Ugh, I'm probably butchering that. But, anyways, it's really, really handy. I love all the pockets. Uh, in the front here, it just has, like, a little wipe compartment. So, we've got some wipes in there. I obviously already have a bunch of diapers in here. A bunch I didn't even pull them all out I always bring so many more diapers when I go to the airport just in case because that would be bad to just be stuck without diapers so got a lot of diapers next thing that I'm gonna put in there is extra clothing uh, this is very necessary he already had a blowout on one flight and we had to change him 
so I now bring more. So I have a change of clothes here. I'll probably pack another one just to be safe. And then because we're going to a warmer climate, I have just like shorts and a little short sleeve onesie for him, just in case it's a little bit warm once we get off the flight and I can just change him. Then after that, I'm going to put in, let's see, we'll put in his blanket. So this is just cozy, make him comfortable on the flight. Then I'm going to bring this Solly wrap. It looks like just a bunch of clothes right now, but it's a, it's a baby carrying wrap. I normally bring those like big hefty duty buckle ones, um, but just for the sake of space and um, mainly the sake of space. And also we're going to a warmer climate. He's probably not even gonna be in it. So I feel like I'd only be bringing it for the airport. I feel like this will do the job if he wants to be held. Um, and this is also a huge trick for me before we get on the flight. I usually put him in a carrier and he gets rocked right to sleep. And then it's great because he's sleeping when we board the plane. Then I bring burp cloths. Necessary, I bring at least two. I'm also bringing a white noise machine. This is just like a baby shusher. Want to play with it? It shushes. <laughs> his favorite sound. Other things I have in here that you can't see are extra pacifiers, um, a little nose picker, his nail clipper, a thermometer, and I think that, oh, and diaper, diaper rash cream. For toys and to keep him occupied on the flight, um, I just basically am bringing teethers for him. He's in a huge teething phase, so I'm bringing him all different types of teethers. We've got Sophie, we've got little, these little ones. Um, this one from Love Every, this one my mom got for him. Multiple options to keep you occupied. What do you want right now? And then lastly, I'm bringing this book, which he loves. This is by Love Every also. He's loving the crinkles, um, but also in it, sorry, I might get long, are little like high contrast pictures. There's a mirror in there. Just fun stuff for him to look at. He loves this ribbon page. So it'll just keep him occupied and he'll be able to hopefully be good on the flight. Fingers crossed, he's been great every other time. This one's a little bit longer, so we will see. And that's it, that's all I put in the diaper bag and then tomorrow we'll get all of his bottles and stuff like that sorted and that'll be the last to put in there. So that's it. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna get him ready for bed. Uh, we have a very, very early flight tomorrow, or at least we have to leave for the airport pretty early. It's also Thanksgiving weekend, so it's going to be hectic. So I should probably get him all sorted. Uh, and then, yeah, I will see you all in my next video, which will be uh, the vlog from this trip. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!